and welcome to another edition of Starshadow Plays. I'm your host, Rob, aka Starshadow, and we're playing some Outer Wilds. Uh, so we are stuck in a time loop, which is kind of cool, and also kind of sucks because we don't really know what we're doing yet. But uh, we are exploring this little solar system in our last episode. We actually didn't get that far. We were around uh, this planet, exploring it a little bit. Uh, we ran into what looks like a, some kind of seed from uh, one of the other planets. A really freaky kind of thing, so... We're gonna go explore some more. Alright, lift off. We're not even gonna go talk to people on this, this run here. Alright, so there's our our city. So up north is where the where that like smoke is is the seed thing apparently. Uh, we were went over here to uh, exploring, but didn't have much luck. Even though maybe I should try to go. In there. This geyser. Because there is definitely... Oh, I missed. Definitely a landing site in here. Oops. Up, 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 up. We landed really hard. All right, so we have to repair the ship now. All right, so I kind of want to see how we get. Okay, so going actually behind uh, the waterfall from there, if I would have just kept going, I wonder if I could have went through that waterfall. I didn't try, so we are gonna look and see what this is here. Uh, will it open? If we, oh, cool! It actually did open. All right. So let's see what's it. Guess what's in the middle of the planet that we live on. Like uh, space, actually. Looks like there's actually doors over there. Maybe I should go over there. But also, look like okay, a geyser down there. Right, I want to try and get all the way over to that door, I think. There's some no mice uh, writing over here. All right, so this says uh, by Oneo. I'm so amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin Project requires. Psychad, isn't this the ore from the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are surprisingly big. 
Uh, Nea replies, No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're currently mining will be used to create a protective shell that will seal off the Ash Twin's core. Interesting. Psychiat then replies to that, All of this ore is for the shell. I hope they measured the shield's area and planned accordingly. Very nice. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? Uh. Alright, so taking this stuff from Ash Twin. Coleus seems to be the master then, but says, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timberhurst or for constructing the shell only. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. So Ash Twin is one of the planets, uh, it's a binary system that's very close to the sun. I think it's the closest one to the sun. Uh, okay, maybe if I bring it over here then. Oh, freaky. Okay, so there's something going on here. Uh, no idea what actually is going on. That was that the twins, maybe? And then our planet? Uh, no. Seems to be more planets than that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this means at all. It looks like there's a two, three, four, four lights that need to come on, maybe, to figure out what's going on. here too so let's grab it out of here let's see if we can put it over here too Ooh, more writing okay uh yarrow my gratitude for the latest shipment oneo this ore should be the last we'll need for the ash twin project Yara continues, uh, with the protective shell built, Raimi says she's ready to seal all entrances until during its construction. Or all entrances used during its construction. After she'll help inspect the barrier from the outside. Our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'll be delighted to help. Uh... That was Oneo. Uh, Yarrow replies, We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest opening in the shell that protects the core could lead to disaster. Alright, so there's going to be some thing of intro. Oh. I wonder if this is one of the... Uh, uh no my. I wonder if we can get to that light over there. And what happens if we are able to? Because that kind of looked like a teleporter. Oh, is it to teleport up? Because I'm getting nowhere fast from here. Yeah, 
because it's repulsing me out. Okay. I guess if we had gone all the way to the bottom, this was a good way to get all the way up. Let's go take a look, actually. Oh, the water just sent us all the way down. I wonder if we can get in there. There's nothing in there? Okay. Just kind of curious to see if there was anything cool in any of these holes. It's like there's not. Oh, we'll keep looking. Okay, we're underwater. Okay, so this is, should take us to the very top if we go that way. There looks like there's another. It's like a sideways entrance into it. Oops, I messed up. There we go. Sends me all the way. That's kind of cool. That's a pretty cool little transporter there. Set me up. Ow. Oops. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing else. For me to worry about here. What it does tell me is I will need to go explore the twins. Uh, to find out a little bit more, I guess. So it's always good to check out your home planet. Before going too far. So I think that's the twins over there. Those are geysers. That's uh, our village. Okay, let's see what's on this south pole. There's a crater there.
Yeah. Oh, I thought we landed. All right, so what's going on over here? This is like something built by Hearthians. Oh, shoot. And I fell off. Single scope, see if there's anything, of course. Any, of course, any kind of sounds that we hear, are, of course, from Hearthian astronauts. It's our signal for where they are. Church research, church research notes, property of church. I detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal on this grove will reveal more about it. Interesting. Alright, let's go look around a little bit then. Because that's interesting. Let's see if we can see anything about this quantum signal. This somewhere in this grove. Uh, might be in the next one over, maybe. deep inside okay there's the quantum rock and I'm gonna have to remember to actually uh, scan people with this so it's is it gone? yep it's replaced by a tree, interesting. Alright, so that went off to somewhere. We have to go find it, I guess. Oh no, there it is. Okay, is it going around? Oh, this is interesting. Bark the quiet shade, it's always dark in the aging glade. Interesting. Alright, so the quantum stone is gonna move anytime I quit looking at it. So I'm gonna guess there's a spot it needs to actually go.
So if I keep it in my sight, and I want to put it somewhere, where would I want to go? Still, so it's still in my sights, even if it's behind the log. right in front of me. Ah, it's behind me, isn't it? I'm guessing there are places that actually goes. I'm looking this way, and I should be able to go wherever I want right now. Okay, so it went all the way over there. I wonder if it needs to go on that geyser, and I gotta figure out how to get it there. Or onto one of these. That's all bark that was very quiet. Let's see the ancient clade. Got much more to go on this this bad boy here. So it's going around. I might as well mess with it until the sun blows up. Okay, the sun has blown up officially. I think even though it's blown up. And that's loop number three, I think. So we're getting a lot of information here. So that quantum rock. Let's we'll see what we can do with that in, uh, another time, I guess. And we're back to where we started. So, um, I thank you for joining me. And if uh, you're enjoying the content, please drop a like on YouTube, uh, drop a comment. Always appreciate those. You can subscribe there and find out when new videos drop. You can follow the channel on social media at uh, Streams by Star on Twitter. 
And of course, join us live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash anti star shadow, A N T I star shadow. So, once again, thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you again real soon.